You're my son, Ryan! When I was eight years old, I weren't really told all the other stuff that was happening in the series. Only when I watched them again, I realised how much I missed when I was younger. Now what? Oh my God. Did you have to come dressed like that? Working with Reese has been consistently wonderful. He's a lovely kid. And so I hadn't seen him for nine years. So that was a bit of a shock. But of course, I'm sure everybody's saying that because he's now towering over me. It was nice to see him all again in person. There was a lot of hugs. First day when we first met everyone, I'm not the best with names, but I just saw the face. I'm like, I know you. I'm sure I do. Just give me a second to think of your name. Obviously going from a kid who hadn't really acted much before and was running on instinct in the way that lots of children and child actors do. I thought I said not to tell anyone. I thought you meant grown-ups. I meant anyone. Sorry. He can still act. He has maintained that playfulness and that professionalism. And he's working against some of the best actors in the world and he's holding his own and he's doing some beautiful stuff. And I can't tell you why or how. You're just going to have to trust me. But it was his fault. How? Did he kill her? No. I wanted to get to a point where Ryan would be old enough to start making choices about whether he wanted to have a relationship with his dad or not. And how would Catherine feel about that? Claire, Catherine and Ryan have got a good family foundation. Tommy he has no other family. He's very captivated by the idea that he did have a child that he never knew about. His grandma is this well-accepted police officer and his dad's a criminal who's in prison. He's been told all these lies throughout his life about his past, bringing them into question. He's finally old enough to learn the truth about some of them. But now he's older, he has his own agency and his own initiative to go and do things on his own and figure out things on his own. And not having a mum and knowing that Tommy is his dad, inevitably as a young child he wanted to build a relationship with that man. Neil's aware that he wasn't present as a dad for his son. I think he feels that he can be there for, for Ryan. I understand why Neil does what he does. I'm a stepdad in real life. And I understand the, the complexities of that relationship. Daniel and Neil, they was nice to him, but no one could fill in that father figure like Tommy could. I think for Catherine, where we had left season two, where they're watching after Ryan running off into the, up the field, swishing his stick, her anxiety was always, will he be like his dad or will he not? Her worst fear is that he is Tommy's child and he will end up being like Tommy. Will he end up? being someone who has a difficult criminal life. He's heard all this stuff about Tommy, I and mean, when he goes to prison and sees him being such a nice person. As far as he's concerned, Tommy is a good, supportive, loving dad. But I reckon the real worry is whether Ryan will turn out like Tommy. Ryan's gonna surprise us all. As is Reese. he's quite profoundly moving in this show. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>